Hey guys, I'm Nick from C3 Music, just going to run you through our tracks tutorial. Um, basically, we like to use tracks in a live service because we want to bring the sounds of the studio into a live situation. We don't want to just be limited by drums, bass, guitars and a keyboard. Um, and a lot of the sounds that we do create in the studio when we're producing albums are not able to be performed by real instruments. They're, um, they're created with computers. Um, so what we've got here is our Ableton Live template where we've loaded up the different songs from this album, Breathe. Um, so I've got here the first song, I Come Alive. And what I can do is I can hit a pad. It's the start of the song. So we've got a click track. We've got the intro synth playing. I can jump to a chorus. Obviously, I've got a lead vocal in here, just get rid of that channel. So you can see there's, um, there's a lot of layers there. We like to have the extra backing vocals in, that kind of helps. Um, clap sounds, any electronics, anything like that, synthesizers. It's good to have them in this format. So what I'll show you is how to set it up and how it all can work in a live service. So what we want to do is hit our MIDI button and you click on the first song, the count in, and then I'm going to hit my first pad. That will mean that it assigns the start of that song to the first pad. So I'll go to another song and I'm going to do the same for the second pad and another song, same for the third pad. So we want to go into the second song, Breathe. I've assigned it, second pad. Straight away got the click track. The tempo's changed to 73 BPM, and yeah, we're in for the intro of the song. And you can use as many or as little layers as you want. This is pretty much a full mix. But um, I would, in a service, I'd probably get rid of um, the guitars as they're playing the parts already. But the advantage of this setup, if we jump back to a Come Alive, got a chorus. The music director was like, let's do another chorus, or rather let's just jump straight to the bridge. Bridge, two, three, and so we're straight into the bridge. And if we want to jump straight into the chorus then, we've got freedom to go wherever we want in the song. Repeating choruses, that's the big one, where we do a lot. Uh, if you want to just do a quick short version, often that happens after the offering. Um, yeah, you can have all the flexibility you need there. As far as hardware goes, um, I like to use a mini controller. It doesn't have any sounds in it. The keys there, I do play different keys parts, um, but that's a bit more unique to me. Um, what, what I do like about this controller and Novation stuff especially is you've got the freedom of scrolling up and down. I can assign the different songs as I've shown previously. And I can also just launch things with these buttons. So that's the launch button. This is a stop button. So if we're in a chorus, we stop it just by going and it's cut. So that's um, <laughs> good for any disasters. But it's nothing special, this keyboard. It's literally off the shelf. You can use anything. It's the baby version of it. Works just as good, has all the same buttons. Use another brand, doesn't really matter. But I, I think this is found, this is best for me. Important thing to note is click tracks. And the way we have this set up is I've got everything coming out. Uh, master output, output one and two, which is just going to front of house and the ban on in-ears. What we've also got is a click track out, which is, you can see it on cue out, which is output three. And I've also got count in, so which you've been hearing. Um, and that's also going on output three. So if I go back to the song, One, two, three, four. you can hear a click track and you can also hear that count in. So everyone knows when to come into the song. Front of house obviously doesn't get this because they don't need it. And it's just for the band's sake. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this helps your church music team and your services. Um, you'll find a link below to our music website, c3music.com, and where you can find all these resources. Cheers.